Getting the workshop organized is just gonna have to wait because I gotta try out this new Rolarlo Omni Terminator. Rolarlo is a relatively new brand to the radio control car world. However, I think the name is quickly becoming more familiar. They've had a number of high interest releases and now they have this one that I think is gonna grab a lot of attention. The Omni Terminator. It is a brushless four wheel drive monster truck and these guys put some details into their models that are a step above others. Definitely worth us checking out. So I'm gonna go over all the details you need to know about it and then we're gonna head out for some bashing. Here's the box the Omni Terminator comes in and here's all the stuff that they pack inside of it. Lots of stuff to go over here. Obviously the assembled truck and the Rolarlo radio system. This one has your trim functions underneath this little door up top. Uh, you know, your steering trims, throttle trims, the dip switches. I like the feel of the grip and the carbon fiber look to it. Just wish that they had a foam steering wheel on it. Then look at all the paperwork. Oh my God, this is just too much to go over. Anyway, there's a battery strap. And the reason why they give you this is because you can go and put a standard battery pack in it. There's some extra diff gaskets in case you pull differentials apart. Here's some of the battery mounting hardware, some extra two side tape and stuff, probably for that conversion. They give you the speed pinion gear, some tools, the wheelie bar. Definitely gonna have to install that before I head out. And then all this paperwork stuff to go through how to get your car together, some decals, instruction manual, all sorts of stuff for you to go over. And then this Omni Terminator, I guess it's a work mat or maybe a flag. I don't know. Let me know what it is in the comment section below. Here we go. Let's get into the Omni Terminator monster truck. And it's a compact size truck. It's not 10 scale. However, it does have some 10 scale size components in it. Starting off with the body, like the monster truck style body. The graphics are pretty cool. It's all printed on the inside. Definitely like that it has roof skids. I like that it's got the tailgate protector on there and they even gave us a molded grill up front, a little Ford-like in my opinion. Uh, body clip tethers, mirrors on the side, not too bad looking. Love the front bumper, that looks burly and they got some LED lights on the front as well back bumper just to you know finish off the look of it again you could throw the wheelie bar on the back but uh, overall good looking body and then the carbon fiber version of this truck has a black body i got the aluminum version let's start off with the chassis like i normally do mud guards on the side let me flip it over check that out it's an aluminum chassis with a ton of etched styling on the bottom. Whoever they got on their design team has a very cool imagination. Just adds to the fun factor of it. Look, they even got that carbon fiber style plastic molding on the, the mud guards. And then for the battery pack, uh, they've got the strap down the center, Velcro battery strap, and it comes with this battery. I'll go over that in a little bit. But uh, this is where you could go and move the speed controller out of the way. You could zip tie it down to the top brace plate here and you could go and put a normal size battery pack in this. They give you those extra pieces to go ahead and do that. So I like that it's got some adjustability to it. So if you already have some larger battery packs with a proper XT60 connector, you could go and use those, get some more runtime out of the truck. They got this really solid looking brace up front, aluminum for the center section. Body mounts look pretty good as well. They're even adjustable. If you wanna go and try to find another body to throw on this, uh, lots of bumper bracing. So really good look to the chassis setup, even a covered receiver box. The suspension feels really plush and check this out, aluminum bodies, anodized green, black anodized preload collars, black anodized lower caps, even the top cap is aluminum. It does have a composite shock end on the top and uh, the lower ends are, are composite, at least with a steel ball in there. So good looking shock. They feel really good right out of the box, just for some general bashing. Then check out the arms, dual H arm setup up front. So everything is captured there. It looks really good. Like how they've got steel pins that are captured with screws, no E-clips on here. We've got some adjustments for the lower shock mounts, even droop screws in the arms that's very cool sway bars and then look at these upper shock towers aluminum towers etched jeweled edges really thick looking too what's that like three millimeters same in the rear but the arms are the same so if you pick up a set of arms you'll be able to use it around in each corner on the truck and then really stout looking outer hubs look at that dual shear point up top screw pins and you know captured lower pins just the right setup. I'm pretty impressed with the way it looks. And actually, look at this. I'm a little bit more impressed because it has aluminum hinge pin points uh, with the plastic inserts on the inside. I didn't see any extra pills in the kit. So this is probably just a single setup. No need to really adjust that here. Into the drive line, they have 10 scale size diffs in this. So there's a front, center, and rear differential. Uh, 10 scale size, so you get that extra durability out of the larger gears. Everything is supported by ball bearings. Steel drive shafts out to the wheels, and they even 
even have the size etched on them. CV style in the front. And then again, ball bearings throughout. These are just metal shielded bearings. For the center, they've got this long drive shaft. The only thing I didn't like was they've got this extension coming out of the, uh, the center drive shaft. I don't like that because it just, I think, adds a little bit of extra load to the output shaft there. And uh, that could just be a, a wear point. Probably overthinking it, but uh, out in the rear, they also have dog bones. They didn't go with CVs in the rear. So it's just a dog bone style setup. Totally fine for a basher setup. And that brings us into the electronics. I've already showed you the radio system. There is your steering servo. Looks like it's got metal gears on the inside of it. Just judging by the look of the output shaft, uh, adjustable steering rod going out to the bell cranks. Forgot to mention those before. It's got a servo saver built into it. Kind of your typical bell crank setup, aluminum drag link up top. I like that it's got an anodized adjuster nut for that servo saver and then uh, adjustable tie rods for the steering. And even those are dual captured on the inside as well. Very cool setup. Uh, radio box again up top has the Rolero receiver on the inside. It's got a brushless motor system. Sensorless. This is a 3100 kV motor. Uh, cooling fan on top. It's attached to this cooling heat sink. So they're taking care of any heating issues. The motor's attached to this sliding motor mount. I like that as well, that's really easy to adjust when you're swapping out pin gears. And then here's a Rolardo speed controller we've seen before. Uh, two to three S capable and fitted with a cooling fan and check out these wheels and tires. So they've got the high clearance offset. The inside diameter is uh, larger than the outside. So you get that cool look of the spoke wheel. They've got some extra detailing on it. Some inserts on the inside that actually feel really firm. I like that. The tire tread, it's got a nice lug to it and the compound is kind of firm actually. It's not a super soft compound. So this is gonna be a good multi-terrain tire, whether you're driving on dirt or even hitting the asphalt. You can really tell that Rolarlo puts a lot of thought into their vehicles. I mean, this is the aluminum version and I'm actually really happy with it. Again, they have a carbon fiber version as well. So you've got to have all the trick looking stuff. Definitely check out that version. Now we just have to see how it performs. Time for some BMX track fun with the Omni Terminator. Look at that thing fly. This double jump is absolutely awesome. Just gotta roll into the throttle, keep it held, let off, perfect landing. Not even too much uh, rebound on that one. Just gotta roll into the throttle. And this battery keeps falling out. I gotta try this double into the tabletop, roll into it. Nice, oh, we got a little sideways, corrected and easy. Always fix your divots guys. A little loose on this track. That was awesome, look at that, perfect. Just gotta manage the throttle and this thing is so much fun, look at this. Little brake, little cross up. Battery keeps falling out. Love this bang corner, just power right through it. Dirt flying off the side, come back through. Yeah, killer. Now I wanna come through this berm here and hit this series of doubles. Float the first one, got the second one. Can't really see the third one, but I think I cleared it. Yeah, there it is on the berm, awesome. Let's see if I can hit this one. Yeah, look at that. This little thing is fun. Up the big berm. Yeah, oh, made that and one more double. Wow, that was awesome. That was so cool. This little thing is a beast. Look at that. A little sideways in the rear. Oh geez, I think I totally lost it. Oh, I landed on all four wheels. This thing is awesome. I'm having so much fun with this. Launch it, yeah. I'm impressed. Other than the battery falling out, this little thing is taking hits and it's set up really well. Yeah. You know, I waited a little too long to test this one out. I should have been playing with this one as soon as I got it. I apologize for that, guys. This thing is cool. Nice job, Rolarlo.
The OT was pretty impressive on the BMX track. This thing just sails through the air and it lands really well. I think it's got one of the better suspension setups out of the box for ready to run. The landings were just plush and not too many pop-ups off the hard landings, really easy to control the truck. Plenty of steering, lots of low end throttle, so you go manipulate the truck in the air if you need to. Uh, plenty of brake, obviously, to drop the nose, and it's just a blast overall to drive. Everything I was expecting out of the truck, it seems to be very solid. That's one thing I noticed when I was, I was driving around. Uh, it's a solid feel, a controllable feel, and, and that's what you want out of a small scale truck. Wound up having so much fun, took it to a skate park as well. Didn't have my camera gear, all my camera gear with me, and just shot a little bit of action so you guys could see it which i'm going to play now through the the wrap up here while i got some things to talk to you guys about uh took a lot of abuse there but as you can see by the front of the truck i, I did have a few little issues that we need to go over but at the skate park a lot of fun ripping around through the bowl jumping out of it uh, a couple of little ramp style jumps that were there launched off of that this thing was smacking the concrete it was settling in after the jumps so uh, impressed the way this thing is set up and the power with it but i got to get into some of the issues that I had with it. And actually at the BMX track, I did bend one screw for the rear wheelie bar wheel. Not too big of a deal, easy to swap out. But at the skate park, launched this thing off of one of the quarter pipes, landed on the back corner and did bend a shock screw. So again, another easy replacement, no major damage there. The big damage uh, to the body happened when I dropped into the bowl and uh, it just tipped over. Corner, front corner first and shattered the body. And uh, I, that's something that I was a little concerned about with looking over the truck. Everything else seems to be really solid, but the material that they're using for the body uh, just seems rather flimsy to me or actually uh, uh, brittle to me because this thing, I mean, shattered. This thing is all cracked up. No way I could go and repair that. I'm just gonna have to go and get another body. So that is something uh, that is downside for this, uh, for me, you know, is just the material that they're using on this body. And maybe you could source another small scale body. I don't know if there's anything out there. Let me know in the comment section if there is help anybody else out looking at these things. Uh, but other than that, the thing is solid. It took a lot of abuse. Uh, at the BMX track, it was ejecting the battery. That was a problem for me. And that's an easy fix solution with parts that are in the kit. They actually give you the battery strap uh, bars that you could go put in for putting the larger battery pack in. I just say, go put those in because it's going to give it a taller sidewall so that battery won't slip up and out and keep falling out on you. So easy fix there. Uh, the other thing is I did go speed test it for you guys. I went and drove it stock out of the box, wanted to give you top speed with the uh, included factory pinion that's installed and wound up hitting 28 miles an hour. And then I kind of realized after I left that Rolarlo never turns their radio systems up to 100% throttle. So that was at 75% throttle. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go back out and speed test it again with the larger spe included speed pinion gear. And when I went to pull that pinion gear off, I couldn't get it off. They used so much Loctite on the set screw for the pinion and on the motor screws that I could hardly get the motor screws out. And then the pinion set screw absolutely stripped out on me, actually broke the top of it off. And I, I just gave up at that point. So the best speed I got out of it was 28 miles an hour. So it probably goes over 30 with that stock pinion gear. And I'm just leaving it in there. I threw everything back together and just went and ran it. So be aware of that, uh, I would say, before you even attempt to take that pinion gear off, add some heat to it. If you can see that they have a lot of Loctite on, on your particular model. But so we got a couple little downside things there, but the performance far outweighs the problems I had with it for a small scale truck of its size. It's well equipped, performs really well, and I think it's priced really well. If you're into it, I'll have links for it in the video's description below.